In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create this super easy smoky eye. Perfect for this time of year. So let's get started. As always, I've applied an eyeshadow primer all over the lid. If you don't have an eyeshadow primer, just apply your concealer all over your lid to work as a base. As my lids are a little bit damp and sticky from the eyeshadow primer, I'm going to apply this shade right here, which is a matte tone, very similar to my own skin tone. And I'm just applying this in the crease of the eye. So this is above the lid, working upwards towards the brow bone. What this is gonna do is create a powdery base for us to blend over. We're then gonna take our crease shade and apply this in the crease of the eye, blending over and back. As we've already applied a neutral eyeshadow, this will help with this blending process. So work this over and back into the crease. And then you can also bring this down onto the lid as well. With the smoky eye, your blend is so important, but it's also about layering your products as well. So this shadow is gonna work as a base for our smoky shade. Now we can take our smoky shade and we're going to apply this with a flat brush this time. My flat brush is also slightly damp and this is gonna make sure that that dark shadow doesn't end up everywhere, but only where I really want to press the brush down. We're applying this all over the lid, focusing on the center, blending down, and out. What you can do then is take a little bit of the product on your blending brush and just very softly go around the edges. Because we used a flat damp brush, this really won't budge too much and that's why it's important to go around with a blending brush to soften out the edges. Otherwise, it can look very harsh. Your blend is so important with a smoky eye. So keep your hand nice and light and keep that blending going. And I'm just gonna repeat that same process on the other eye. Now you don't have to use a damp brush, but it will give the shadow something to hold on to. So they're really gonna glide over the lid, particularly because we're using something with a metallic finish. If you apply it with a damp brush, you're just gonna get a much more beautiful glossy finish but always remember to go back in with your blending brush and soften out any harsh lines. A little pro tip is to take what I refer to as a fade shade. So this would be something similar to the blush that you would wear with this particular look. So I'm gonna take this shade right here, which is a matte tone, and just apply this in the crease of the eye, and this will just add a soft fade. And I'm also gonna be using this as blush later. And then took a slightly lighter shade and just apply this on the inner corner, just to bring the smoky eye together and add some dimension. And for that really smoky look, I wanna apply some black liner on the upper and lower waterline. And for underneath the eyes, I took that flat brush with a little bit of the smoky shade and just really applied that underneath the lashes. and then finished off with lots of mascara. Now to bring the whole look together, I'm gonna to take that fade shade and apply a very, very small amount of it, tapping off the excess, and just apply this as my blush on my cheeks, and this will just bring the look together. And then I'm gonna line my lips, and I'm actually using a brow liner because I couldn't find my liner, but it worked out pretty well. And then I applied a liquid lipstick in a nude tone just to make sure we're not competing for attention with the eyes. And then there you go, that is the finished look. I would love to see you guys recreate this. I know that you can do it, it's very easy. Definitely let me know and tag me on Instagram if you do, at Katie, and I will see you guys in the next one.